Hello everyone, Dr Andrews here with another help video on how to answer life cycle assessment exam questions. Here is an example, a very classic example of a life cycle assessment exam question um, where it's given you lots of information about two different types of disposable cups, one made from coated paper and one from polystyrene. And the question is asking you to evaluate the use of coated paper compared with polystyrene to make disposable cups. And in your answer, you need to use information from the table and your own knowledge and understanding of life cycle assessment. So first thing I do when I know it's a question about life cycle assessment is I write the four key sections that are required for a life cycle assessment. The raw materials, manufacturing, usage, and disposal of the product. And I do this so that I can be sure that I include all the necessary information in my answer. So I'm gonna start by looking at the raw materials. And I've highlighted here in the table for you the row of information that's really useful. They very helpfully called it raw materials. And for the coated paper, it's wood. And for the polystyrene cups, it, the raw material will be crude oil. So then in my answer, I wanna make a statement that addresses these two material, these two uh, raw materials. So firstly, crude oil is finite and wood is a renewable or sustainable resource. I could go further and also mention that wood involves land use for forestry. So by growing wood for paper, I'm taking land away from agricultural food. And wood may involve deforestation, so the cutting down of trees to achieve that raw material. And that's just a bit of extra information from my own knowledge that I could include. Then I would write about manufacture. And there's two rows in the table here that link directly to manufacture of the cups. So firstly, you've got the mass of the cup and then you've got the energy used to produce it. So it's important to state in your answer that to produce both cups, you're going to require energy derived from fossil fuels. Producing the paper cup is more energy intensive. In the table, it takes 550 kilojoules of energy to produce our paper cup compared to 200 kilojoules compared to the polystyrene cup. The need for more energy for paper potentially releases more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and so will increase global warming. The paper cups are also heavier to transport. So, because of this, there will be a higher energy requirement when transporting the cups. To package either of the cups it is very similar, so there's no advantage or disadvantage there. Looking at usage, I'm going to have to rely on my own knowledge and understanding, uh, but I'm pretty sure we've all either seen or had experience of using a cup from a takeaway coffee shop or something similar. Um, these cups are both single use, so whether they're made from paper or polystyrene, they are not reusable, so neither of them will have the advantage there. Then we look at disposal, and there's tons of information in this table. You've got the energy released when one cup is burned, you've got whether they're biodegradable or recyclable. So first I'm gonna put some information down about paper. Paper releases more energy if incinerated. It, as you can see from the table, it's 166 kilojoules. And so this energy that's generated can be used for other purposes. So we could burn the paper cups to produce energy to uh, convert into electricity to power our homes, for example. The paper is also biodegradable, so it will decompose and it will not remain in landfill, which is a positive thing. Polystyrene, if we did incinerate the polystyrene, it would generate a small amount of energy, but a problem with burning polymers and plastics is that they release toxins into the environment which will cause harm. Polystyrene will also not decompose, so if it is sent to landfill, it will just fill up that landfill and remain there. However, it is recyclable, so it could be used to manufacture other products which would conserve energy or 
conserve finite resources overall. Then looking at both of them, if they're disposed of incorrectly, they could cause litter or visual pollution. So here's an overview of information that it's important to include in your answer. And I've colour coded it so you can see where I've taken um, the information from. As this is an evaluate question, it's always really good to finish evaluate questions with a justified conclusion. So the conclusion I've come up with here is that use of paper cups is better as they are sustainable and biodegradable. There's not necessarily a right or wrong answer here for your conclusion. You could alternatively conclude that polystyrene cups are better because they require less energy to produce and they are recyclable. As long as you give a conclusion and you've justified it, then that's absolutely fine. Now, if you'd like any extra practice of life cycle assessment questions, I've put another one here. Um, so I'd suggest that you pause the video, have a go at this question, give yourself approximately five to six minutes to do it, and then continue watching the video and the answer will be on the next part of the video for you. Here is the answer to your extra practice exam question.